Welcome everyone and thanks for being with us for today's webinar, Business Continuity, Keep It Simple and Reliable with StorageCraft. A reminder that this webinar is being recorded. You'll receive an email from us within a couple of days with a link to check out the recording on demand. Also, there's a Q&A box on your screen. When you submit a question, it'll disappear from your box and queue up on our side. But don't worry, we have it and we'll ask you those questions at the end. If we don't get to your questions, we'll be able to follow up with you after the event. There's also a live chat, so jump in and have a conversation with your fellow IT pros. Also, be sure to check out the resources section in your screen. It contains some links to get some more information. So let's get started. Our presenter today is Chris Francisconi, Senior Sales Engineer at StorageCraft. So it's Chris, I'll hand it to you to get started. Thank you, David. And again, echoing what David said, thank you everybody for taking time out of your day to join us. Here at StorageCraft, we're gonna go through uh, today's presentation about business continuity. Keep it simple and keep it reliable. Before we jump into some of the details, I wanted to give those folks on the call today a little background on StorageCraft. If you're not familiar with who we are, kind of where we've come from and what we're doing in today's business landscape. StorageCraft was actually founded back in 2003. We're a completely channel-based company with over 8,000 VAR and 10,000 MSP partners and continuing to grow. We are a global company headquartered in Draper, Utah with offices in Europe, Asia, and Pacific Rim. We've got data centers in the United States transcontinentally located. We've also got data centers in Cork, Ireland, Frankfurt, Germany, and again, the Pacific Rim. We had over $187 million invested by TA Associates back in January 2016. And with that investment, TA also gave us an outstanding leadership team from our Chief Executive Officer and Chairman, Matt Medeiros, and his senior staff, Marvin Blau, VP of Worldwide Sales, Lee Shore, VP of North America Sales, and Roy Applebaum, handling our Director of North American Distribution and Sales. So having an a experienced executive leadership team has helped StorageCraft over the last few years continue that growth, and we really look forward to delivering a best-of-breed set of products, not only today, but in the future. Again, rapid growth and expansion, we've really uh, continued to implement and invest in our cloud services or uh, disaster recovery as a service. We've got that available globally for customers, and we're continuing to grow in those European regions. We support a number of verticals, and in fact, no vertical is really wrong for the StorageCraft family of products. And here you can see we have a number of large name brand, best of breed companies out there using the StorageCraft solution set. We have a history of award-winning products and solutions recognized by the channel, by channel publications, and by our customers across the world. With that, let's jump a little bit into the problem really the global problem of why business continuity planning is so critical and having a solution set that can help you continue that business in the event of an outage, whatever that might mean to you. All outages, all disasters, all things that stop that business or those systems are not only mission critical to each organization, but can be different to each organization. So it's import important that you have a solution set that can work with whatever type of disaster or outage that you've experienced. When we look at today's business continuity challenges, we look at some alarming statistics in my mind, especially being in the technology sector for over 30 years. It's amazing to me to think that there's still 85% of the systems in businesses today are not even backed up. We see 80% of that data loss due to operational human errors or even application failures. 20% of that loss is due to hardware, operating system, security, or power and natural disasters. And even more alarmingly, the data growth rates are continuing to double every couple of years, and now again, every four years. We see 17 to 40% of the backups that are in place fail. So again, having a great way to test your backups and test your business continuity plans are very important. 
when we really see that 90 plus percent of the overall disasters really fall outside of the natural disaster, it's a, a statistic we should all be aware of, right? 20% really are those hardware operating system security and power types of disasters. 40% being those application type failures and disasters. And again, another 40% with operational error, human error, infection to malicious activity, et cetera. Of course, the business of ransomware is something that we're starting to see more and more. This uh, actual statistic is a little near and dear to my heart. We just had an opportunity to work with the hospital that's mentioned here um, over the last few weeks to solve some of their ongoing business continuity needs. So a hospital here in Southern California actually was hit with ransomware. Um, it, it required them to pay uh, an, an outstanding ransom in Bitcoin in order to try and get some of that data back. And in turn, uh, they still are encountering operational and environmental challenges that they're looking to address to further prevent that business from being attacked. So having systems and solutions that can keep you protected or give you options to keep you protected in the event of some sort of an outage is the right direction to go. Not all products have all of these pieces. So uh, we're happy, of course, to provide an end-to-end -end solution here at StorageCraft. Really, again, to further the, some of the statistics that we see, 80% of the companies without a proper data protection and recovery strategy can go out of business within two years of a disaster. We see a number of different types of situations, really, again, where that disaster is different for every company, whether it's a natural disaster, where we have a, a quote from a customer who was impacted because of Hurricane Katrina. Okay, so we continue to see uh, warning signs and notices that if we don't have things protected, companies aren't able to resume operations within 10 days of a disaster are likely not to survive. Very important to think about if you don't have a plan, how are you gonna be able to continue that business? So we've covered a little bit of the problem that businesses and companies are seeing out there. What's the solution look like? And of course, again, here at StorageCraft, we have a comprehensive recovery solution that really provides end-to-end -end feature set. It all starts with the recovery. There's a number of backup solutions and backup products out in the market. And those products and those companies tend to focus their conversations around backup. In turn, here at StorageCraft, we like to focus our conversations around recovery. Because of course, a backup is only as good as your recovery is. And if you can't recover, then obviously you don't have the right tools in place, whether that's backup infrastructure and so forth. So here at StorageCraft, we really wanna dive deeply into our comprehensive end-to-end -end solution. So really, if we look at how that can spread or how that can work in your, in your environment, we can protect everything from the individual employees and desktops to those mission critical business servers, whether those business critical servers are physical or virtual. We see a lot of businesses these days migrating those critical systems into virtual platforms to allow them to be more flexible. Well, likewise, our product, we also want it to be flexible for you. So we're really able to protect the entire gambit of the IT infrastructure within an office or business location. And then of course, the most mission critical piece of disaster recovery and business continuity is having some sort of plan to get that data off site. And what we're able to do is take those backups and replicate them out to a number of areas like we might see on the screen here, where we can replicate those out to storage crafts cloud services, or even a third party cloud or an off site location where you might have a branch office or another location that you already have access to. So we provide you an end-to-end -end solution both on-premise and off-premise. So where does that really start? It starts with our flagship product, the product that we have had in our, in our uh, product set since our inception, which is Shadow Protect SPX. 
And Shadow Protect SPX is a backup software that is fast, reliable, trusted, and secured. We are certified by both Microsoft and VMware for our solution stack in a secure and certified fashion. We do support both physical and virtual machines, as I mentioned previously. We support both Windows and Linux systems. And in fact, our user interface is the same in both those Windows and Linux systems. So as an IT administrator or organization, your team is not having to learn a completely different product set just because it's a different operating system or performing a different function. Built-in application and database awareness support. This is a very important piece for us because it's really a differentiator that I'm gonna dive into for just a moment. The way we're able to provide that application awareness is because we're a certified VSS provider by Microsoft. And that is unique to us in the software space as far as backup software in the market. That allows us to ensure the reliability of those backups by allowing our certified backend to communicate with those application servers to tell them what to do, and those database servers in the same capacity. Very important and unique to the Shadow Protect product and the StorageCraft family of products. Complete data and system volume protection. So when we are taking a backup, we're not just backing up files and folders or the data that lives on that system. We're backing up the entire system, all of its configuration settings, all of its data, and so forth. We can provide full backups, incremental backups, continuous incremental, or as some may have heard referred to as the forever incremental, manual backups, and we can do all of the backup styles and types that we offer as frequently as every 15 minutes. When we think about, again, what this kind of looks like, we have the ability to install an agent on any type of machine. So we first go, go through the process of installing the Shadow Protect SPX product set. Once we're installed, we then go and create regularly scheduled backup jobs that again can, can be as frequent as every 15 minutes throughout the day and run for as frequently as you want. We then store those recovery points to some sort of on-premise storage device. So when the backup runs, we're going to look to some sort of storage platform on-premise to store those backups. And as you can see over on the right, those platforms can be anything from a locally attached USB drive to some sort of a share living on a NAS or a SAN device, as simple as an SMB share for us, and we can write directly to it. In an emergency or in a loss of data, of course, we select that desired recovery point and we st restore that data or entire system back to its original place or even to a dissimilar place. We also have centralized management for all of these backups and systems that you're looking to protect. And we provide multiple forms of management. We first look at the ability to remotely monitor and manage these backup jobs, where we can not only monitor the individual endpoint and its current backup statistics, but we can also push a, the software or a backup configuration down to these endpoints through an easy to use web-based console. Again, discovery and push installations to those protected systems with policy-based administration. So that way we're not having to touch each individual computer to create a backup job or a policy. We're able to apply that centralized policy and add it to as many endpoints as you'd like. We have complete roll-up reports and dashboards that really allow us to from an operational perspective, see very quickly with color-coded alerting and that centralized web interface to really know what's happening. The other form of our centralized management is managing those backup images themselves. And it runs through verification of those backup images, consolidation of those backup images, and again, alerts and report notifications so you're ensured that everything is functioning properly. When we look at our centralized management dashboard with our web interface and single pane of glass, we're able to, again, remotely push the software and the backup configuration out to those managed systems. 
when we deploy that, that management, we're deploying, of course, a centralized backup policy and centralized storage location. We often see that tasks are repeated over and over again with administrators when backing up or managing a large number of systems. And our centralized management product allows you to not have to do those repeatable tasks over and over by touching every computer system when you either want to deploy or make a change. We do it through policies that allow you to instantly modify a policy for as many endpoints as you have protected that are a member of that particular policy. Again, as the backups land out on that storage destination, we are able to configure customizable alerts against these endpoints as they're running through their backup strategies and processes. And of course, we have the ability to monitor all of these statistics from a centralized dashboard and even schedule out reports with these statistics out to certain team members and staff that need to ensure these systems are being protected. When we look at our image manager product, again, helping us protect those backup images themselves, we're able to allow image manager on a nightly basis to perform very critical verification of the backups themselves. We're also then performing consolidation processes within our image manager product, and more importantly, retention processes, so that we're able to trim out the backups and that long historical data that you might not need anymore to keep that backup chain very efficient and able to restore at any time. We also have the ability to perform nightly, weekly, and monthly virtualization tests of these backups. So as the backups land on the storage device, we can allow our management software to look at those backups and do something with them. In fact, do something very powerful. We take that backup every week or that backup every month or that backup every night and automatically virtualize that system from the backup itself and in turn take a screenshot of that virtualized system and email it to you. Very, very helpful when we're trying to understand how successful our backups really are. What can we do with them? Are we truly able to restore data? Well, here at StorageCraft, we believe in showing you not only that we can restore data, but that we can restore an entire system through instant virtualization to get that system back up and running very quickly. So we're doing it through verification processes here within our image manager software, and we can also do it through a manual process where we're able to resurrect that system very, very quickly. Here in our management software, we're also able to pre-stage the recovery of a system, whether physical or virtual, using our Head Start Restore technology. So this is allowing us to, as an example, take that two, three, four terabyte server and pre-stage the restoration of that entire backup chain up until a certain point in time. So that as you're ready to flip this recovery system back into production, you're minimizing the downtime and minimizing any conversion processes by pre-staging everything in advance. Complementary feature set within our image manager product. And lastly, of course, our image manager product allows us to do off-site replication. So folks, as we really think about protecting systems, protecting them from not only that human error that we saw shows up to 40% of the loss of data or failure of systems can occur through that human error. Well, we also see, again, that ransomware side of the business really start to increase its frequency, increase its infection of customer systems, sites, and servers. And so, of course, one of the ways to protect from that is to get that data off-site, like we talked about. With the Shadow Protect and StorageCraft product family, when we do off-site replication, we can replicate it to StorageCraft's cloud services, where we have a full disaster recovery as a service model to offer you, or you could replicate it again to some sort of third-party cloud or even an off-site location, branch office for your business, et cetera. When we're doing the off-site replication, we're always keeping things secure. So not only are we able to encrypt our backups all the way up to a 256-bit AES encryption model, but we're also doing in-flight encryption of the off-site replication. So we're able to, to create a 
secure FTP off-site replication model with encryption of the in-flight data as well as providing the FTP server an actual certificate or security process itself. That off-site replication, to dive a little deeper, we replicate the backup images themselves with off-site technologies. And here at StorageCraft, we offer two private replication models in a secure FTP or secure UDP protocols or models. We can also replicate to StorageCraft's cloud services. And when we replicate into our data centers, we do, of course, require that those backups are encrypted. So again, with the Shadow Protect backup product, we can encrypt a backup in three different encryption algorithms. You choose which one's most applicable to you. We just require that those backups are encrypted to keep them secure in our cloud. When we do replicate to the storage craft cloud, we are replicating with a secure in-flight replication algorithm. So we are, in fact, securing not only the backup with that encryption, but again, as we replicate those encrypted backups off-site, we're also encrypting the stream itself. When we replicate to third-party clouds, again, the process is exactly the same. Whether it's a third-party cloud, whether it's storage craft cloud services, or whether it's that private or remote data site, that you have access to, all of the functionality is gonna perform the same with secure mechanisms to get that data to the other side. I mentioned StorageCraft cloud services. We do have two data centers in the United States, one in Salt Lake City, Utah, just outside of our corporate headquarters, and the other in Atlanta, Georgia. We can offer the ability for you to mirror those backups at both data centers for a nominal additional charge, where you've got them not only at our primary data center, but we've taken a mirror of those exact backup images and stored them in our Atlanta data center as well. Cloud services is a custom built disaster recovery as a cloud solution. So we were purpose built for disaster recovery. We were purpose built to take the Shadow Protect backups and be able to restore them, whether it's files and folders, or complete virtualization and failover through a VPN tunnel. We have patented technologies in our cloud services that no one else can offer to customers and users out there looking for an offsite solution, where we can pre-stage or orchestrate the entire network and any number of servers to start in a certain order with delays in between, so that as we look at application servers, we're waiting for that Active Directory environment to spin up a domain controller, spin up then the application server after its dependencies have already been up and communicating. So we really keep that cloud services simple, flexible, and affordable. We allow you to choose from everything from bare metal recovery drive protection. So again, when you need that full bare metal recovery capability, we can seed all of those backups on a bare metal recovery drive and ship that drive to you for recovery at no additional charge. Okay, we can also mount those backups immediately in the cloud to do file and folder recovery, where we can just simply browse the drive or virtual disk in the cloud and pull down whatever files or folders you might want to. Or again, as I mentioned, complete virtualization failover with VPN capability, firewall and networking support built right in. Our data centers are tier three data centers with security and standards accordingly, five nines of uptime, and again, a 24 by seven by 365 monitoring. And as I mentioned, mirroring options available where we can mirror that data set to our alternative data center in the US. When we really go through that cloud services operation and what those options are, again, we give you the ability to ship and receive a seed and or BMR drive. So again, when we talk about getting those backups into the cloud, we talk about large data sets these days that a lot of people don't have enough bandwidth to let those backups replicate directly across the internet. So you can request a seed drive from us where we will ship you a two, four, six, or eight terabyte hard drive with prepaid shipping back to us so that you can simply take the backups on premise, drop them onto a 
external hard drive and put that external hard drive in a prepaid shipping container back to us. If you don't want to use those hard drives and you do have nice bandwidth available to you, we give you the ability to bypass those BMRC drives. In other words, you could just run the download or upload of the backups directly over the internet, your choice. We also then remote, allow you again to remotely recover files and folders directly within the cloud portal, not having to involve us as a vendor. You have complete self-service capability with our cloud services portal, allowing you to not only mount and restore files and folders instantly, but do complete virtualization tests and spin up of these backups in the cloud whenever you would like so that you know the data is not only preserved, but again, recoverable. As I mentioned, a complete self-service portal with unlimited recovery and testing. If you look at a lot of the competitive solutions out there to the StorageCraft family of products, you'll see that they do not offer the same type of interaction with those off-site or cloud backups. They either make you call the vendor and interact with the vendor to have them spin up your machines, create a VPN, and so forth. With us, there is no requirement to interact with us as a vendor. But of course, if you're in the middle of a process and you did need some extra handholding or support, our support team is readily available for you through any of the same mechanisms that we allow you to leverage support through our on-premise products. So you can submit that support case very easily in the same capacity as you would any other problem that required tech support with our solution stack, and you'll have our cloud operations support team helping you through whatever challenges you might have. I always like to say, rest easy. Knowing that your data is secure and stored in a tier, a tier three data center, we are SSA 16 type two data centers. We have full PCI and HIPAA compliance, and we have full SOC and SOC 2 auditing reports on an annual basis to allow you um, to review so that again, you know your data is secure and in good hands. We are currently offering a nice promotion of our product set, where today with the Shadow Protect SPX product, we are doing a buy one, get one free, and that promotion is running through the end of March. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Wrapping up a little quicker than I expected to, but I just want to say thank you for all of the time you guys have dedicated to listening to us and to sh allowing us to show you the StorageCraft family of products and solutions. With that, I think we're going to review some of the questions and be able to answer those questions as we go through. Yes, thank you, Chris. Yes, so. Uh, Continue. Everyone who's watching, continue to submit questions. We've definitely got some in already, and uh, we'll take these as we get them. This first one here from Shelby is, if you had to sum up the benefits in a couple of sen sentences, what would you say? I think that's an excellent question, Shelby. And I would like to say, I think we are fast, we are flexible, and we are a reliable product. We're providing you testing mechanisms with our backups and our off-site recovery that other vendors don't provide. Okay, this next one from Angie is, can you please explain what the granular recovery of Exchange entails? Absolutely, another excellent question. Because we are a VSS provider, the Microsoft back office applications have to listen to us when we go to take a backup. So those SQL servers, Exchange servers, SharePoint servers, et cetera, when we are backing them up, those applications have to acknowledge our request, and then they go out and they force the data to commit to the logs, they flush the logs and present the database back to us in a clean state so that we are getting a stable state backup. When you want to granular recover Exchange items, we actually have a granular recovery for exchange tool. It is not an add-on license for the backup. The backup is taken with a standard ShadowProtect SPX license, 
whether physical or virtual, but we really have the granular recovery for exchange tool for exactly that. When you need to recover those granular items from a backup, everything from a, an individual mail message, a mail folder, a contact, a calendar item, et cetera. And our granular recovery for exchange product is a separate executable that allows you to simply open up the backup. From that backup, it, exceeds, it sees the exchange server, the organization, the database. And then we open up a target location. The target location could be the same exchange server, it could be a new exchange server, or it could be a PST file where we're actually able to granularly pull out those requested exchange items and restore them back to the same exchange server, a different exchange server, or a PST file that then could be managed accordingly. Okay, let's look at some more of these. This one is, can you back up to multiple locations simultaneously with the same job? Great question. Um, no, we can't back up to different locations simultaneously, but we can replicate to different locations simultaneously. So we may have a backup taken of that mission critical server or set of servers, and you want to replicate them to the storage cloud services, and you want to replicate them to your own branch office. You can do that simultaneously without a problem. Okay. In a true disaster, full building loss, how easy, how easy is it to go from BDR, VDMs, back to a new permanent setup? Another excellent question. I'm going to answer that with one of my favorite facets of our technology, which is when you are doing an instant virtualization into VMware, we actually are permanent from the time we turn on that VM. So there is no need to do a temporary virtual machine failover and then fail back. Um, you're able to go to any VMware environment and instantly turn on those backups as virtual machines. When you're using storage craft cloud services to virtualize in the cloud, and then you want to fail them back over to the on-premise location whenever you are ready, we do some very neat and, and unique stuff in our cloud in that when you request the bare metal recovery drive from the cloud, and we seed all of that backup information and ship you the drive, you're still running on those machines in the cloud while the drive is being shipped to you. So we take hourly snapshots or backups of the systems that are virtualized in Storage Craft Cloud Services and allow you to synchronize that bare metal recovery drive that we sent to you with our cloud and those incrementals that were taken in the cloud, and we can synchronize them back down to the local hard drive so that you can restore from the most recent backup taken from those machines in the cloud. Okay. Uh, this next one is, do you need any VM software to validate your backup? Can you bring the system up in a virtual environment within Shadow Protect? So um, another great question. Boy, these are excellent questions. Thank you, folks, and do keep them coming. Um, so what's, what, again, is really a, a, a very advantageous facet or feature of our product, when you want to instantly virtualize or verify those backups, you can do them in a complementary virtual environment. So if your organization did not have VMware or Hyper-V and really had no virtualization infrastructure, Shadow Protect can provide you a complementary copy of Oracle VirtualBox, which is a complementary type two hypervisor so that when we are interacting with that instant virtualization, we do not need the existing infrastructure to come with that virtualization platform. We can provide it directly in Shadow Protect. Great question. All right. Look at the next one here from Joel. How many sites do you have and how fast can you recover a Hyper-V server? Our, our cloud infrastructure, we have two data centers in the United States. We have thousands of server compute platforms in our cloud as well as thousands of storage servers in our cloud. 
allowing for not only redundancy within the cloud to ensure that you can spin up those VMs, but of course the computing resources that you need to not only spin it up, but spin it up in a production grade performance model. So um, truly being able to restore that Hyper-V server or VM depends on where the recovery is coming from and really how big the data is. Because if the backup file and its entire backup chain is a terabyte in size, depending upon where that terabyte of backup is stored, it's only going to be written back down to the new location so fast. So we're not able to necessarily speed up the bus or the, the, the speed of a USB drive or of a NAS or of your network for that matter if we're copying those backups or restoring them across the network. So it's a little hard to pinpoint an exact timing on restoration, but what I can tell you is when we have a server outage that is a virtual machine running in Hyper-V, we can instantly virtualize that same machine from our backup file in Hyper-V. Regardless of what size the backup is, we can instantly virtualize it in 10 minutes or less. Any machine, any size, we should be able to instantly virtualize in 10 to 15 minutes, depending upon the architecture that you have within your network. Great question. Okay, let's look at this, this one here. Uh, SQL backup restore can be complex. How do you configure backups with the goal of a full recovery, recovery with limited data loss and limited downtime after a full loss? Boy, these questions just get better and better. So <laughs> um, because we are a certified VSS provider, that SQL server has to listen to us and the SQL writer has to present the database to us in a clean state so that we can ensure a stable state backup. Just like exchange servers, we do also create a, a best practice or a recommendation. If these are heavily transacted, SQL servers or exchange servers, which most of them are, uh, we do recommend incorporating a nightly maintenance plan and running a Shadow Protect backup as soon as that nightly maintenance plan completes. Because of course, what those nightly, nightly maintenance plans do is take that database, any queued transactions, they force it to be written into the database so it's no longer queued, and they flush the database logs so that everything comes back to us in a clean state when we take that next backup. Okay, well, looks like those are about all the questions uh, for now. Remember, you can submit questions, or if you've submitted any and we did not address them, we'll have a chance after today to follow up. Uh, so a few other reminders here as we close up. Uh, the uh, offers that Chris mentioned are in the, re in the handout section, so that's a uh, widget on your screen. So click that open and you can dive into some more information there. And remember, if you stepped away or missed any part of today's uh, presentation, you'll get an email with a reminder uh, or an email with a link to view the webinar on demand. Uh, so as I say that, I see a few more questions have come in, Chris. Let's see. Uh, let's take this one here from George Soul. Does it work in China? Uh, good question. So we do not have a data center in China at the moment, um, but the Shadow Protect backup software and the replication options we talked about are absolutely available in China. Great. Okay. All right. Uh, from T. Roberts, this question is, can you integrate StorageCraft with other backup vendor services? We already have a Unitrans appliance for local on-prem backup at this time. Unfortunately, StorageCraft Cloud Services does require the backups to be taken with Shadow Protect. So the answer would be no, we don't allow backups to be taken with another product and then replicate those backups into the cloud. Everything does have to be um, StorageCraft and Shadow Protect end to end. Okay, let me see. Again, these keep coming in. I appreciate everyone submitting these uh, here right to, up to the end. Uh, let's look at this one. Uh, 
I don't see why uh, you can change for co-location. Most include no extra charge. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, why don't I see? Uh, I don't see why you charge for co-location. Most include at no extra charge. Yeah, and maybe that was a, a bit of a of a misunderstanding or miscommunication on my part. So, when you are replicating Shadow Protect backups outside of your local office. The only thing StorageCraft would charge you for is if you wanted to leverage StorageCraft's cloud services. If you want to replicate to a co-location facility, a data center that you own, another branch office, that is included in our product as a complimentary secure license to be able to do that. So you shouldn't see any additional charges with replicating these backups somewhere outside of the StorageCraft cloud environment. At least not from us. <laughs> Good question. All right. All right. Well, thanks, Chris, and appreciate the, uh, all the questions that have come in. And uh, hey, David, special thanks. do you mind if I yes. say one last thing? I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt your flow there. Oh, please I, do. I just wanted to, to remind everybody, as David pointed out, in the handout section or resources section of the, um, of the webinar today, one of the things that you'll find us uh, having posted there is a request for a demonstration of the product. Uh, today we chose not to do a live demonstration. We just wanted to give you uh, the data and the information associated with our platform and give everybody the ability to come back to us and request a demonstration so we can dive into some very personal um, and, and kind of private architectural questions and concerns that you might have at that time, um, or just really show you the end-to-end -end product suite and how it works. So please take advantage of that request a demo um, section or link that we have and as well as the buy one, get one free. That's a great promotion that we're running today. Um, I just wanted to add those two last things. Thank you, David. Absolutely appreciate that. Uh, and, and thank you for the presentation today, and thanks to StorageCraft for creating uh, the content and sponsoring this, this great event today. Uh, we thank all of you, of course, uh, in our community for attending, and uh, we appreciate all your participation. Be sure to look out for that note uh, to review this on demand. That will go out in a day or so. Uh, we look forward to next time and, and having another SpiceWorks Partner webinar. So thank you, everyone, and have a great day.